Three. And it's Ken Kratzer for Cam Betts Media. We are at Yankee Stadium, Old Timers Day. Have a chance to see one of the Yankee legends who I saw play for in the 70s and, and beyond. That is Brian Doyle. Brian, good to see you. What's it like to be at Old Timers Day for you? Well, this is like over 30 years that I've been here, and it's always just a thrill to see the guys, the Yankees, uh, with tradition. Uh, it There's no other club like it, so we get treated so well, and uh, it's so much fun to be here at Old Timers Day. And you were mentioning a highlight to me uh, in the World Series in the late 70s that uh, you had quite a hitting rampage. Tell us about it. Well, I was very fortunate. Uh, Willie Randolph got hurt, and uh, so I, w I went in for him, and uh, I always like to say I closed my eyes, the pitchers hit my bat, and I led the World Series in uh, hitting that year. So it was, it was my rookie year, and it was uh, quite a thrill. Very good. How many years uh, did you play in Major League Baseball? Four years. I went with Billy Martin to Oakland. I turned turn a double play, guy hit me, I went head first in the ground and completely separated my throwing shoulder. That was my last game in the big leagues. Oh gosh, well, I think we work with a lot of military veterans on their transition back to civilian life. What was it like for you when you realized that the major leagues were over and you had to find a new occupation? Well, I came from a baseball family. My older brother, Denny, was 11 years older than my identical twin and I and he was in the big leagues when we were in the seventh grade after the three of us quit playing major league ball we started the first baseball academy and it was in 1978 and we had it for 35 years uh, however I had been in major league baseball for over 40 years in some capacity and then I went down to Fort Lauderdale and uh, I was a pastor there, and I started an uh, organization that George W. Bush uh, sent us a recommendation letter and an acknowledgement. I started Veterans for Christ, and uh, I'm, I'm huge veteran supporter, huge. Uh, they give it all, every bit. And uh, so for eight years, we had... A veteran organization there in Fort Lauderdale and uh, help them in finding places to live. Uh, I was at the VFW almost every day so uh, they're the ones that wear the real uniforms. We have the pinstripes but they wear the real uniforms. Absolutely great to hear that you're doing veteran support work. Uh, is there something about veterans that you've really been able to key on and help them uh, offering some advice from your baseball experience? Commitment, they know. Discipline, they know. So I just try to help them that that same commitment they had and discipline they had in the military, let's put that in everyday life and there's a place for you in society, just keep that same commitment and that same discipline that you've had serving our country, and let's put it into everyday life here. You're good, and I'm sure you did this at your academy. What advice would you offer to college players today or minor league players if you spoke to them, or even uh, major league players about preparing for life after baseball? That one's kind of an easy question for me because I've, I've taught it quite a bit. MVP, everybody knows what MVP is. Memor uh, most valuable player. Well, my MVP to the players today and to everyday life, M stands for memorize. I've got to memorize what I am supposed to do in whatever job or occupation. V stands for visualize. Not just visualize what you're doing today, but what you want to do in the future. And P stands for personalize or perform. So you take what you've memorized, the right things to do, you see yourself visualize doing those right things, then you put it to work and personalize that and perform it. And you're going to be successful. You'll be an MVP. Well, that's terrific advice, uh, Brian Doyle. There are uh, some of your former teammates here today. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, we've got uh, uh, Bucky Dent, who was the shortstop when I was the second baseman, Roy White, uh, Lou Pinella. Uh, we're the old guys now. You know, these young old timers, and we're here celebrating the 2009 World Series team. Uh, but yeah, we've got some real good guys here that I played with, and it's always good to see them. Well, I, I think back to my college years, late 70s, uh, Yankee Red Sox rivalry was at, really at its height, I think. Uh, every game was sold out at the old Yankee Stadium. And then that penultimate playoff game in October 2nd of 1978 at Fenway Park. Bucky Dent hit that home run. What, what are your memories of that game? Oh, wow. Just, it, it was probably the most pressure that I've ever felt playing in a game because it was one and done. And, uh, and then Bucky gets up, hits the home run. We go nuts. Goose comes in, gets uh, the third out with two men uh, on and Yastrzemski up and fouls out to Greg Nettles and we're off to Kansas City. Pressure-packed game, but uh, what a great rivalry. Brian Doyle, great to visit with you, and thank you for the work you're doing supporting veterans. That's great to hear. That's my pleasure and my honor. Thank you. See you, Brian Doyle. This is Ken Kratzer for CamVets Media at Yankee Stadium Old Timers Day.